D-Lo 404 Boxing. All right, y'all. So former Miami Dolphins head coach Brian Flores has filed suit against the NFL and against three of the teams in the NFL, including the Miami Dolphins. He's citing racist hiring practices by the league and saying that basically that uh, the NFL is racially segregated and managed like a plantation. Uh, the lawsuit filed in Miami, excuse me, in Manhattan Federal Court sought a class action status and unspecified damages from the league, the Dolphins, the Denver Broncos, and the New York Giants, along with unidentified individuals. Flores was fired last month by the Dolphins after leading them to a 24 and 25 record over three years. They went nine and eight in their second straight winning season, but failed to make the playoffs during his tenure. Message sent to the NFL for comment was not immediately returned. Um, you know, he go he goes on to quote that God has gifted him with basically I'll say it in his words, God has gifted me with a special talent to coach the game of football. But the need for change is bigger than my personal goals. That's what Flores said in a press release um, put out by a law firm representing him in the case. I'm making the decision to file the class action complaint today. I understand that I may be risking coaching the game that I love and, and that has done so much for my family and me. My sincere hope is that by standing up against systematic, excuse me, systemic racism in the NFL, others will join me to ensure that positive change is made for generations to come. I'm, I'm going to leave it at that. I'm not going to read the whole article. I just want to give my take on what I read so far. Um, You know, we... <sighs> Anyone who follows the NFL for any amount of time realizes that the NFL is a league that is um, predominantly run by non non minority owners, managers, GMs, and even the coaches. But the majority of the players are, are minorities. Majority of the players are black. Um, we saw what happened when Colin Kaepernick started his protest in support of wanting to affect change with what was going on with police police brutality and police shooting unarmed black men and just different things that he was trying to stand in support of and, and how the NFL responded to that. And then eventually, after a while, they kind of changed their position. But but it's bigger than that. Um, we, we've seen it with practices of how... how Certain players are drafted for certain positions, um, and and even you know there is a there is a stigma, you know, when it comes to like just say for instance the black quarterbacks, you know, and I'm not gonna go all delve all into that, but I just want to say that there, there there's a lot of biases and preconceptions and prejudices that kind of exist in that in that fraternity that is the NFL. So, in sticking with what this particular situation is about with the coaches, um, the NFL rarely has more than three or four black head coaches in the league at one time. And most of those black coaches that get an opportunity in the NFL, they have a very short leash um, before their opportunity is yanked away from them. And many of them don't get a second opportunity. Many of them go years and years and years before they can get that first opportunity. So I, I can totally understand what he's saying about unfair hiring practices. I know that NFL did some years ago implement some policy, if I'm not mistaken, that I think they were required to interview, you know, any, you know, my, at least one minority coaching candidate if they applied for a job or something like that. Well, I, and I and I. I'd have to go back and really like research that because I haven't been following the NFL a whole lot over the last six, seven years. But I do remember that being the case because it was some noise about this before about the NFL not, you know, doing a good job at um, giving black candidates an opportunity to fill coaching vacancies. But, you know, I, I'm going to leave it on, on that, you know what I'm saying, to just say that uh, I'm glad and I'm proud of Flores for what he's trying to do. Um, in my opinion, he's try doing what he can to affect positive change going forward and kind of level the playing field for those who will come behind him. This may not, he may not reap the direct benefits of this suit, win or lose. You know, it may cost him. And 
even if he does, you know, lose the suit, the fact that he filed the suit and that it that it actually gets some traction and goes somewhere in the long run can still have positive affect positive change for generations to come for those who will follow him into the realm of coaching in the NFL, even if it's not at the head coaching level. So uh, I applaud him for what he's doing. And I, and I hope that uh, this yields the outcome that he's looking for. And I, I hope that there is not a backlash um, as a result of this that hurts him or other coaching candidates um, in the future. But that's all I got on it. D-Lo 404 Boxing. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. I'm out. Peace.